Artificial intelligence is opening a new chapter for development for the Asia-Pacific region, home to more than 55% of the world's population and half of all global AI users. UNDP estimates that AI could add around 2 percentage points to the region's GDP growth each year. Within ASEAN alone, AI has the potential to generate nearly $1 trillion US dollars in additional GDP over the next decade. Against this broader backdrop, Vietnam stands out with its ambition to become a regional AI leader by 2030. UNDP also notes that AI could help Vietnam increase its GDP by up to 2% annually. To understand how Vietnam is positioning itself in this race, we turn to Vinh University, where AI is being developed as both a national capability and a key focus of research and innovation. At Vinh University, AI is being developed as both a research discipline and a national capability with programs designed to train advanced talent, drive applied innovation, and support Vietnam's long-term technological ambitions. We must proactively build data infrastructure, large-scale data centers, and both the hard and soft layers of digital systems from equipment and connectivity to institutions and legal frameworks. Vietnam set a clear national direction, positioning advanced technologies as engines for productivity breakthroughs, global competitiveness, and sustainable growth. In 2025, the National Assembly reinforced this direction by passing Vietnam's first AI law. Earlier this year, Qualcomm opened an AI R&D center, highlighting rising confidence in Vietnam's potential as a high-tech hub. We are a creator of ecosystems. When we go to a certain country, a certain region, we partner with the leaders, and then together we innovate. So this is us committing to Vietnam, us bringing our innovation to Vietnam. There's a lot of talent in Vietnam. There is a lot of engineering resources, strong technical background, which is what Qualcomm is always focused on. In the Government AI Readiness Index, Vietnam ranks among the top countries in Asia, showing steady improvement in governance, infrastructure and skills. Combined with growing public trust in AI and active national strategies, these rankings indicate Vietnam is increasingly prepared to adopt and scale AI across its economy. Now, we all can see that Vietnam is making significant strides in its AI development, positioning itself as a regional leader However, with great opportunities come great responsibilities. As AI transforms industries, it is crucial to ensure that this progress benefits all citizens. To explore how Vietnam can make AI an inclusive driver of growth, we are joined by Ms. Đỗ Lê Thu Ngọc, head of the Inclusive Growth Unit at UNDP Vietnam, for today's discussion on inclusive growth with AI. Hi, as Ms. Thu Ngọc, thank you for uh, having here today. So your, the first question for you is that AI is developing rapidly and has the potential to change the entire economy. So in your opinion, how important it is to prepare a workforce with AI skills across different age groups in Vietnam? Um, thank you for the question. Um, UNDP's newly launched report, The Next Great Divergence, warns that AI's benefits are arriving very fast, but from very different starting points. So why is it important um, to prepare a workforce? Vietnam has real opportunities to turn AI into an engine for inclusive growth. Um, what's also important here is the ability to absorb and manage job losses because AI will change jobs rather than replacing them. Um, therefore, for a country like Vietnam, uh, we need to ensure that job losses in one sector can be offset by new opportunities in another sector. I think that the key thing for us and for the report is in all of the um, jobs that are affected, AI should help enhance capabilities rather than replace capabilities. So therefore, the, um, the, the, definite, the, the great skills to have is how do we um, take advantage of AI, but also the most crucial thing for um, us at UNDP is that all the decision making must be made by human 
Um, and AI is only a tool to support the decision making. The choices must be made by human. Yeah, so how would the potential diversion caused by AI impact women and vulnerable groups? Yes, um, so as um, already mentioned, the, if AI systems are trained on biased data, the result will be biased, right? Um, if it's deployed without any risk management, the result will be for the risk. So women and vulnerable groups uh, risk being excluded from these jobs and services. For example, um, I will give a couple of points. So first of all, the vulnerable groups are most at risk because they often hold roles that are easily automated like secretariat, for example, administration, customer service are amongst the most automatable jobs. Um, women and vulnerable groups also have less access to STEM education and digital skills. Um, therefore, they, it's harder for them to find new jobs if these jobs are replaced. Um, so the key thing here is, you know, if we want uh, women and marginalized groups to be included, the data has to be representative of them. Yes, thank you very much for your insight. And today's insight highlight a core message. AI only creates real value when it is developed for people, strengthens human capabilities and expands opportunities for all. Building skills and narrowing capability gaps and ensuring inclusion for women and vulnerable groups will be essential for Vietnam to move toward a future of inclusive growth with AI.